Hello friends. Welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video, we will see how to set up a simple Flask project. And in this video, we are going to use our Visual Studio Code Editor. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So first let's see, what is Flask? Flask is a lightweight Python framework for web applications that provides the basics for URL routing and page rendering. It is called a micro framework because it doesn't directly provide features like form validation, database abstraction, authentication, and so on. Such features are instead provided by special Python packages called Flask extensions. The extensions integrate seamlessly with Flask so that they appear as if they were part of Flask itself. In this Flask tutorial, you create a simple Flask app with three pages that use a common base template. Along the way, you experience a number of features of Visual Studio Code including using the terminal, the editor, the debugger, code snippets, and more. Now let's jump into our Visual Studio Code editor. So here, as you can see, I have created the directory, simple Flask app. Now here in this folder, we have to create and activate a virtual environment based on our current interpreter. So for that, let's open up a terminal here. Now here, let's run this command. Python, then hyphen M for module, and VENV stands for virtual environment. And here we need to name this, let's say VENV. So yes, as you can see here, one directory has been created, VENV. Now let's activate it. So to activate, you just need to mention the path of the activate file. So scripts, and then activate. Now here, let's click on view. Then go to command palette. And here, let's select Python interpreter. And here the command presents a list of available interpreters that VS Code can locate automatically. So from the list, Select the virtual environment in your project folder that starts with .venv. OK, so now you can see the venv text in beginning of every line. Now, we need to install Flask in the virtual environment. But first of all, let's upgrade our pip in the virtual environment. So to upgrade, run python hyphen m pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip. As you can see, it is now upgrading. So now let's install Flask by Python hyphen M and then pip install Flask. Hit enter. So it will going to install Flask. So now it is successfully installed. Now it is time to create our application. So let's create a new file over here. Let's say app.py. Now here in the app.py, first import Flask. So from Flask, import, Flask. Now here let's create an instance of the Flask object. So app is equals to Flask, underscore, underscore, name, underscore, underscore. Now here, I will use Flask's app, dot root decorator, to map the URL root to that function. Now here, in our app.py, we add a function, that returns some content or string. So let's define home first. And then, it will return, hello world, from Flask. There we go. Our app.py is now ready to run. So in our integrated terminal, let's run our app by using command, python hyphen m, flask, run. Or we can also run, python hyphen m, flask, hyphen hyphen app, file name, and run. So it will run the Flask development server, and here is our output. Now let's check that, if it is running or not. Let's open a browser, and let's open our local host, 5000. So yes, it is working fine. Now here, if you want to stop this application, you can simply stop it by using Ctrl plus C. So now I hope, you all guys understand the concept. In the next video, we will see the same thing, but in more advanced way. So stay tuned for it. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, 
Feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.